Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, 23 Flavors of Stitching. My name is Kirsten and today is going to be floss tube number 69. Hi! How's everybody doing? Today is August 26th. The day that I'm filming this, it is my birthday. Um, and I just wanted to come on here because the last time I talked to you guys was a couple weeks ago before we left on vacation. And I've done a little bit of stitching, and I also have a little bit of a haul for you guys. And yeah, let's get started. So, first up, I have Fervent Fall by Stone Street Stitchworks. I brought the borders down a little bit and I did the windows um, and I feel like I brought the tree trunk down a little bit. I'm not 100% sure exactly but I would really like to get this finished as fall is approaching. I'm stitching it on 16 count country French country cafe mocha something like that country French country French cafe mocha Ada and I am using my own colors from stash for the brown I am using gentle art espresso bean for the orange I'm using Victorian Motto Turmeric. Uh, for the cream, I'm using Shades of Cream by Victorian Motto. And by Victorian Motto. And then for the red, I am using Vampire by Victorian Motto. And yeah. And then... After that... Augusta National, which will look like this when it is completed. And I am working in the top left hand corner. Oh, my trash came out. Top left hand corner in these greens. I am getting pretty tired of greens, so I will be moving to the right and right here is where the lighter blue starts again I think it's 747 and yeah but I am at 41.33 percent completed and oops And I only have 698 stitches left of 936, which I'm very excited about. <laughs> and I'm stitching that on 16 count Ada, white Ada, with the called for DMC from Awesome Pattern Studio. And then last, but certainly not least, for whips is Maui by Awesome Pattern Studio. I'm just waiting for the PDF to load. This is what it will look like when it is all done. And here is where we are at. And I am stitching it on 16 count Ren Ada by Picture This Plus. That's where we're at. I also have a little bit of a building right there. But that's where we're at. Um, I worked on these clouds, this cloud over here, this purple part of this building, and then a little bit of the blue in here. So yeah. Um, 
And I am 25.74% complete with Maui. So I would also like to get this one done by the end of the year because I really need to get going on the place stitches that I'm doing. Places that I've been stitches. And then with Augusta National, I would like to get this to at least 75% by the end of the year. So we'll see if I'm able to get there. And then for haul. It's a very, it's a pretty small haul. Um, I ordered some Mill Hill beads to redo the eyes on my Santa ornament, but I didn't want to pay for shipping for just these, so there are my petite beads. And then I ordered the ordered the cuckoo 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 bird sampler from Heart and Hand. I here I'll just show you this. I have done the hummingbird sampler. I like all of these, so I kind of want to do all of them. And I also ordered the bluebird sampler which i think is really cute they also have a red bird sampler which i would like to do eventually as well but i've already done the hummingbird one in red so i don't know and then i got faded flag by october house fiber art And I got, I got a couple of strawberry patterns because my daughter's birthday was strawberry themed this year for her first birthday. And so I was kind of on the strawberry, these might actually be raspberries, but it's fine. Um, it's kind of on a strawberry berry in general kick. So here's Nibblers by Petal Pusher. I think it's so cute. And there's little, there's little mice in there. And then I also got Strawberry Fair by October House Fiber Arts. And honestly, I may just stitch the strawberry. May not do everything around it. Yeah, we'll see. Anyway. That is it. Today, we are going to have dinner in a little bit, and then I'm not really sure what the plan is. I'm not sure if I am going to be getting any stitchy time. I would like to see if I can kit up Lady of the Flag think that might be a fun start for the birthday um, or I purchased the mini red door from Artisy that I showed in my last video so I might see if I can kit that up as well um, yeah that's that's kind of all I have planned um, right here, because I'm trying to figure out how to organize some things, are some card making supplies and I got these 2.7 quart containers. They don't fit everything exactly how I want, but they're working for now. Might see if I can find another way to store them. We'll see. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else? I think that's everything. For the people who have gone to my Etsy shop and purchased some needle minders, I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you very much. I truly, truly appreciate it. I 
it makes my day when the notification has popped up. I am going to be hopefully making some more this week and listing them. Yeah, I would like to at least get some made this week, even if I can't list them this week, but as long as I can take pictures of them, then I can kind of list them on the go. So I'd like to do that. Um, so yeah, keep going back and checking. The link will be in the description box for my Etsy shop. The link to my Printify shop, which has those um, shirts that I've worn in a few videos, um, that will also be in the description box if you would like to go check that out. And I think that's everything, honestly. I can't think of anything else. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this short, sweet little video and I'll see you soon. I hope you remember that someone always needs you.